Here is a universal NICAD battery charger, and this is well worth a teardown video because the simplicity of this thing is quite remarkable. Now, this one is branded as Tronic, but that doesn't mean anything. There are about a billion different versions of this out there. Several of my relatives have chargers like this one, and I see them at flea markets all the time. Now, upon first glance, this might look quite straightforward. Batteries go into there, and then you have some charge indicator lights along there. But that is not the case. These lights only indicate if there is any battery in that position or not. They don't indicate whether the unit is charging or not. There is no intelligence in this thing whatsoever. The way that you operate this is, if you want to charge a battery, the first thing you do is you insert the battery into the position all the way to the right. And then you have a switch over here. Charge and test. Now at this point, this charger is not even plugged in. You flip the switch to the test position and you can see you get a light. You get a light and on the back you get this fantastically helpful table. You get the type of battery you get the charge time when the light is dim, and you get the charge time when the light is bright. And these times are fantastically accurate. 12 to 25 hours. Yes. And then down here you get this warning. Do not overcharge. Yes. You are certainly not going to overcharge a battery with instructions as accurate as charge for 12 to 25 hours. Another rather ridiculous quirk of this thing is there is a position for a 9-volt block battery over here. And yeah, this looks rather sad. Simple reason. Someone tried to charge a 9-volt alkaline battery. That didn't go so well. Now, for this 9-volt position, you also get, in this table, some ratings. There is the 9-volt battery, charge time when the light is dim, charge time when the light is bright. But then over here it says, do not test 9-volt batteries. Probably because a 9-volt battery would uh, blow up the little charge indicator light because that is already lit quite brightly with this uh, 1.2 volt battery. This has recently been charged on a much better charger than this thing. So anyway, I want to know what is inside of here. To take this thing apart, there are three screws on the bottom. At least so far, I have only found three. They are safety screws, but thankfully I have the screwdriver, which I have modified, as you can see. So the safety screws should not be a problem. And there goes the last screw. And now if you ask me what do I guess is inside of here, I'd say there is a power supply, just a normal DC power supply, and then only some resistors in series with the charge spaces to provide the constant current charging for the NICAD batteries. Well, now let's find out for sure. And we have, let's see, how does this come apart? Seems like it would just pull out. Yeah, if you unhook all these springs, it should pull out, like so. And yeah, that... Uh, wow, that's even worse than I thought.
And you can figure out how this works just by looking at the circuit board. So mains power comes in right here, obviously. The transformer has two outputs, obviously. One for the little 1.2 volt batteries and one for the 9 volt battery. And basically all this is, is a series circuit. There is a diode. You only get half-wave rectification in this charger. Then there is a resistor, as I said, to provide the constant current. That is right in series with the diode. And across this resistor is the LED. So, not sure what the thinking is behind of that. But past this resistor is the output to the battery. And then, obviously, via the spring, the circuit is completed back to the transformer. Now, this first space is a little bit more complicated because it has the switch and the light bulb. And the last space is quite easy to see how the circuit works. Diode, resistor, LED. Well, LED in this case is actually in series. Okay, so for the uh, for the 1.2 volt batteries, as you can see, the LED is across the resistor, and for the 9 volt battery, it is in series. So for the 9 volt battery, it's diode, resistor, LED, battery. Now let's uh, take out this uh, remaining screw to get out this little circuit board with a light bulb. See how that was made. I don't expect any surprises there. And here is just a simple switch and the light bulb. Ah, okay. Well, the light bulb has, yeah, it has been glued in, but we do have some proper screw base right there, and the light bulb screws into there. Now, what type is that? It is, it's covered in glue. It looks like a 1.1 volt, 0 0.3 ampere light bulb. Okay, and I guess that's that. It is a really, really remarkably simple device. Even worse than I thought, because I was expecting at least a full wave rectification and a little bit of smoothing in this, but as you can see, it's just a a simple diode, half-wave rectifier, no smoothing whatsoever. This is either totally cheap or there is some sort of science behind this that these NICAD batteries like to be charged on a half-wave rectified DC. I don't know. If you know more about this, tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching.